Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate, integrate Pipedrive with QuickBooks. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, pipedrive.com and we want to go in and uh, go straight to the workspace that we created. Uh, once we are here, we want to go to the top right corner where our, our avatar is or our initials. We click on this avatar and uh, we want to go to the tools and integrations. So once we are here, there are a couple of integrations already made for us for MailChimp, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Asana and so on. If you want to check for more, we have to go to the Marketplace apps and go to Marketplace. Now we can try and find ourselves a QuickBooks. As you can see, there's a couple of uh, options. We click on Quick, Quick, uh, QuickBooks and install now. We can make this integration work other way around though, uh, through automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are here, we want to go to integrations and click on uh, see all categories. Now we have to pick or we can pick from 200 or more apps, but we are interested only in one, which is, oh, sorry, pipe drive. We hit pipe drive as a starter of this integration and on the opposite side, there will be QuickBooks. So we hit, we hit the QuickBooks. As you can see, there are some popular integrations, but if you won't be able to pick uh, from those, you can always create uh, your own integration when you scroll down. And just remember, on the left side, underneath the, uh, underneath the triggers, you should start with uh, Pipedrive. Don't go with, uh, with QuickBooks, even though there is an option. Underneath the actions though, uh, we can uh, use QuickBooks, as I said before. And uh, yeah, so we are here. And the last thing uh, we uh, need to remember is just to tr uh, hit try it now and we'll get redirected. Uh, we get redirected to sign in to the, uh, to the automate.io and we are a few clicks away from these integrations to be completed. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, we can still use zapier.com and once we create our account here, uh, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. Zap stands for integration. In this case, we can name our zap or uh, yeah, we can name it or go straight uh, to the straight to the integration. As you can see, the site is loading slowly, but we can maybe refresh it to boost it a bit. Yeah, and we are work well, we are back in the game. Same as Automate, we want to start with uh, pipe drive like this. Uh, we want to trigger event. Uh, let's go with the first one. We hit continue, and now we can just sign in to the account that we already created. Continue. Uh, the last thing is you can test your trigger here. Or you can go to the second action. Same as at automate, we want to go with QuickBooks. We pick an event. Let's go with the first one again. And the last thing is you just have to sign into the QuickBooks and we are basically done. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.